Just this past weekend, Nigeria's military urged Boko Haram to surrender, claiming troops were closing in on its remaining strongholds in the northeast. But Nigeria's presidency has conceded some of its military hardware is not actually working properly. Already the British are already on the ground offering military training and they're also offering intelligence. Uh, but, but beyond that, we have a lot of military equipment. You know, much of that is of British origin. It's broken down. And what we're saying is that the British should come and look at all of these things, armored equipment, including aircraft, help us fix them because we have a deadline of December to end, to end Boko Haram. And so there's an urgency for all of this equipment to be deployed, you know, in the war so that this job is completed. And uh, the response we got from them is uh, very positive. Britain has been providing some military training on counterinsurgency. It's now undertaken to provide more help. The presidency's plea for British help would suggest the war on Boko Haram is not going quite as smoothly as the military has been claiming. The presidency is also seeking more collaboration with Nigeria's neighbors. President Muhammadu Buhari discovered, discovered upon taking you know, the office that, that our neighbors were not in talking terms with the Nigerian leadership as at that time. They had no partners to talk to on such burning matters as terrorism, which was affecting all of the countries, particularly those in the Lake Chad, you know, basin area. So it depends on how you are looking at it. In our own case, there is the realization that Boko Haram had gone beyond the, the country's borders, beyond Nigeria, what we can contain, because it is already effective and hurting our neighboring countries above you know, more than all of that, they have declared allegiance to ISIS and Al-Qaeda. That internationalization is already manifested in the kind of equipment that Boko Haram is using and the kind of vehicles that they are using now because all of those things, they are not things that are found within the countries of the Lake Chad Basin. So the entire world must see, come to terms with the fact that this Boko Haram problem has been internationalized and all of the countries on the, will not enjoy peace when this Boko Haram is not, is not put out. Chad earlier this year deployed troops against Boko Haram deep inside Nigeria's territory. A multinational force was supposed to be on ground at the end of July. That has still to deploy. Kilichi Amekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.